So today's video is going to be all about the water cycle. And the water cycle is something that we learned starting in kindergarten. So it's something that's really easy for us to learn. Um, but now that we are taking biology, um, we can appreciate that what's really being recycled in the water cycle is the hydrogen and the oxygens. And those hydrogen and those oxygens are super necessary for all the biomolecules that we need to make. And so it's very important that we drink water. So we need to make sure that we get water um, into our bodies so that we can make those molecules that have all those oxygens and hydrogens. Um, so the title of our notes today is going to be the water cycle. Um, and water, as you know, is H2O. And so we write it like this. Whoops. Okay, which means there's two hydrogens and there's one oxygen. Um, and water uh, always looks like this. We have an oxygen. And that oxygen is um, attached to two hydrogens, okay, through one bond. So there's the oxygen and then there's two hydrogens. And water always has that V shape, okay? And so water is recycled um, over and over. And we have the different spheres on our planet that I'm going to draw out, like as we've been doing in the other videos. Um, so we have the ground. I'm going to draw it over here. So we have like a mountain um, and then we have a drop off. And so the ground is called the lithosphere. Um, and then we have some water and the water is called the hydrosphere. So let's draw our water here. hydrosphere and then we have our air and this is the atmosphere oops um, and then we've got the trees and the animals and the bacteria and the fungus and this is called the biosphere okay so here's our tree um, and I'm going to color that in Okay, so there's our tree. Whoops, that did not turn out very good. So let's make this a complete. Okay, um, and then we've got a trunk on our tree. Um, and then I want to draw a little guy. So we've got a little man and he just hiked up this mountain. And now he's like on top of the mountain, king of the mountain. Okay, and this is the biosphere here. So the biosphere is the plants and the animals. Okay, so the water cycle. Um, also, I want to actually add some clouds because you can't talk about the water cycle without clouds. Okay, so there's our clouds. Okay, so um, what happens is we have some rainfall that goes down. Okay, so let's make some rain here. And there is a science term for rainfall, and that is precipitation. Okay, so here's the rain here. And that's when the water comes from the air and it, atmosphere and goes down to the hydrosphere or the lithosphere. Okay, so that also includes the lithosphere. So we're going to write, this is precipitation. Um, actually, I'm going to do a different color for these titles. Mm, I guess I'll do this color. Precipitation, okay? Means that the water goes from the atmosphere to the hydrosphere and lithosphere. Okay, and then what happens is once it goes down to the ground, um, there's a stage where there's some collection that takes place and it's called collection. And collection is when water starts to collect 
And this involves things like runoff. So if you have water like on hills or on mountains, it'll come down the hill or mountain and it'll collect in some river or some ocean. Okay, and then what we have, <clears throat> let's say we have some collection here. So I'm going to add some collection. Okay, so let's say we have like some puddles. Uh, let me draw that better. Okay. Um, and so then what happens, you have this collection and then the water goes back up. And you know what that's called? That's called evaporation. Okay, and that's when water goes from a liquid to a gas. And what happens is those water molecules, those H2Os, they start to wiggle because of heat and they start to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then there comes a point where they separate from each other and then they turn into a gas. Um, and that's called evaporation. But there are other things like water can also come from the biosphere into the atmosphere. Okay, so this evaporation involves the hydrosphere to the atmosphere or the lithosphere to the atmosphere. But water can also go from the biosphere. And if water travels from a person into the atmosphere, that is called perspiration. So I'm going to add that here. And so what that means is to sweat or perspire. Okay, so you can get water from a person into the atmosphere. And then plants also deliver water. And that is called um, transpiration. Transpiration. So what, So plants have leaves and the leaves have little pores in them and water comes out of those pores. And so they're in the plant and then they leave the biosphere into the atmosphere. So water can go from either the hydrosphere or lithosphere through evaporation, or it can go through um, a person or animal through perspiration, or it can go through a plant through transpiration. Okay, so then we have water um, in the form of va water vapor in the atmosphere. And then um, as it is in the atmosphere, it can then condense and go back into liquid form. And that, that when it condenses, that's called condensation. Okay, and so that is like when you have um, a cold cup of water, like let's say you have a glass with ice water in it, um, there is water vapor in the atmosphere. And that coldness in that cup will condense the water in the atmosphere, the water vapor, to go into liquid form, which is why you get the like liquid water on the outside of your cup. And so condensation just means that you have um, water vapor that condenses into a liquid form, and then it goes back to precipitation. And then the cycle continues. And that's it for the water cycle, guys. Okay, see you next time. <laughs>